you're watching 8-bit days of week and today we're gonna try out Mega Man Legends 2 running on a modded PlayStation Classic let's see how the performance goes and this is a often requested series for Capcom to bring back it sadly never happened and okay just show FPS and not touching any other setting so we're gonna run with the default and let's see how it goes uh, so far so good of course it's only been a minute Mega Man, the Mega Man in Mega Man Legends also appeared in Tatsunoko vs. Capcom, the fighting game in the Wii. He's actually interesting. He also appears, I think, as a during the final smash of uh, Mega Man in Smash Ultimate, or even in Smash Wii U, I think. So I do apologize if you're waiting for Mega Man Legends 1. I went straight to the second one. Well, I will cover Mega Man Legends 1 maybe in the future. There is another one, but more of a spin-off. It's the Misadventures of uh, Tronbon. So at least with the intro cutscene, no problem at all. But anyway, I think we've uh, seen enough. Let's go straight to the gameplay now. Um, I may need. Uh, I may need a few minutes to reacquaint myself on how the game actually plays it's been some time now but so far at least no graphical glitches so i think this is a, a good candidate for every modded playstation classic out there different from the old ones. <laughs> well, it was expensive, but it was worth it. I'll take over. The graphics actually look oh, great. Thanks. It's clear. It's not a like a blurry mess from what I can see at least. It's almost lunchtime. Can you get everything ready? Mega Man, thank you. Huh? Well, I was a little 
Alright, let's go ahead and play it anyway. Skipping the cutscenes. You know how to use your uh, basically everything right? still looks good. Um, actually, I forgot. Oh yes, right. Alright. Nope. Okay then, good luck. Just in case. Alright. Put out the fires. Um... Well, one thing though, I think... Um... We're gonna wish we ha- oh, We have the analogs on this game. Uh, let's see, where else? Uh, everything looks okay, smooth. Because if I remember right, if you see any anything choppy, I think that's how really the game goes, as far as I remember at least. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. We're just in the opening. But so far, everything looks okay. And actually, it looks really good. I mean, the 3D models that look nice on the classic. And um, it's not as. Um, what is it? It's unlike the previous 3D games I played where they tend to look really... Uh, what do you call it? It's kinda... Well, you know how it is with old uh, 3D graphics. Everything is not uh, clear, of course. But this one actually holds up pretty well. I wish I could feature a more action-oriented uh, mission, but this will have to do. Come on, stop it. That's it for the first mission. Mega Man, we're here. We caught up with Grand And I have to say, everything really looks great so far. If anything, we're just wishing that maybe the analogs are supported here. But for what we have, it's great. And what may be humanity's greatest adventure? Will we succeed in reaching Forbidden Island? We'll continue with live updates throughout the day. Final checks complete. We can get underway whenever you're ready, sir. Okay. And I bet with a few tweaking, this could even run even better. But uh, of course, I won't do that here. Just to show you how it goes when you just uh, straight away put in the game and play it at once and all right okay here we go okay 
this is really great <laughs> um, I definitely recommend this to be in your classic to go ahead and mod yours already and go ahead play this game I highly recommend it that's it for this video though um, you're watching 8-bit days a week please do like comment and subscribe see you in the next videos for maybe more games tested on the PlayStation classic thanks for watching <laughs>